Right, today we're looking at how to gap a spark plug. And the tools that you need is a spark plug, a set of feeler gauges. And if you notice on those, they've got different thicknesses. A lightweight hammer, a screwdriver, and of course a manual. Now the manual tells us spark plugs size, so 10 pin N9Y, and the gap 24.024 to 0.026 inches. It's 0.625, 0 0.66 of a millimeter. So between 24 and 26 is 25. We look at our feeler gauges and we look for 25. Now we're very lucky that this one's got 25. However, if it doesn't have 25, that one's a 15, you can use a 15 and a 10. A 15 and a 10, and what you do, there's the 10, sorry, there's the 25, 12. So we put the 10 and the 15 together, and that makes 25. So if you don't have a feeler gauge that's the right thickness for you, the, the spec in your manual, then you can make that spec up by two, putting two more or more blades together. So if we wanted 22 mil, for example, 22 thou, we would have a 15, sorry, that's 27. If you wanted 27, you'd have a uh, 15 and a 12, 27. If you wanted 22 or 23, you'd have an eight and a 15, 23. But as we've got 25, we'll use that. Now I've deliberately set this plug with the gap much too big. So you put the feeler gauge in and you feel whether there's any movement between the two. Then you get your very light hammer and you start to bring it down. You don't have to hit it very hard. It really starts to nip up. It's still a little bit too big. A little bit of movement there. Just wants to slide through. Oh, that's. You can just feel the resistance there. But it goes in, that's exactly 25 thou. Now let's make it a bit tight. So there's still a gap there, and it might, to the eye, look enough. In fact, it is enough. It's getting a bit tight now. Now we can't get the 25 thou through, so we need to open the gap a little bit. Now you don't want to put your screwdriver against the porcelain, because if you crack the porcelain, you've ruined the plug. Just ease it open a little bit. You can buy a tool which sits around there and just leaves it back, but I'm using what you might find in your workshop. Let me just ease it up a little bit. Not enough. Again, we're only going between the two metal points. Oh, that's too much. So we're back to setting it with the hammer. There we are, just a little bit big still. And the reason that you want the plug gap the right size is that the engine's been designed to run with that, with that plug gap. And that's, so the electronics, the uh, coil, etc., it produces a spark which jumps a 25 thou gap with enough power in it to, do the, to initiate the burn within the cylinder. So it's important. So that is how you set your spark plug gap. 